So this is my Nespresso haul, a total of 350 capsules, a mix of stuff that I usually get, and the holiday edition. So I got a lot, a lot of Intenso because this is my favorite capsule to get because of the bold, intense taste. I got uh, Bianco Leggero for my wife as she loves drinking this with milk. I also got the Double Espresso Scuro for the times that I just need a Double Espresso shot on the go. And to try it out because I've never tried this before, the Hazelino Muffin to give it a taste test because I found it interesting and I wanted to see what it tasted like. And since summer was ending and this was on sale, the Ice Forte, I got it just because it was pretty much on sale and I wanted to give it a try too. And now for the holiday flavors. They pretty much have five different flavors for the holiday. The first one that you see on screen is the Infinitely Gourmet Hazelnut flavor, which is co-created with Pierre Hermé, which is a French pastry chef and chocolatier. He actually did three of the flavors, which uh, one of them being the next one you see on screen, the Infinitely Double Espresso, which is more fruity and cereal, according to Nespresso. Um, the gingerbread, which is a staple of Christmas, so I had to get it because it just fit the vibe. Uh, and the next one, my favorite one that I'm really excited to, to taste, the peppermint pinwheel. I love everything peppermint, so this is one that I'm really excited to try and see how it tastes like. Um, and the last one, which I told you guys uh, that was co-created with Pierre Hermé, the infinitely fruity raspberry flavor. I'm not sure about this one, but let's see how that goes. And voila. That's what it looks like. Put all into neat rows. Now let's do the taste test. All right. Here's my espresso. I'm gonna try the Hazelnut, infinitely gourmand. And we wait. Okay, so it's all done. Let's give it a try. Ooh, it smells good. You can really smell the hazelnut flavor. That's good. Yep, definitely he's enough. I don't know what else to tell you guys, but that is good. You can even drink it black. I don't usually drink coffee just straight black. I usually like adding some cream or sugar to it. But this, I could actually drink black without having any problems with it. Okay, now I want to try the peppermint. We have to try the peppermint. This, I'm really excited for. And it's done. Okay, first impressions. I'm so excited for this one. Oh, it smells exactly like what you'd expect from a pepper pint. Pint. Pepper pin wheel taste. Now let's try black. Hmm, interesting. It does have that mint taste to it. I don't think I'll be able to drink this one just black. I think adding sugar and uh, cream or milk, whatever you guys take, will absolutely help this taste. Let me try the gingerbread one, and then we'll finish off with the fruity one. Okay, so this one's done. Let's... <laughs> I'm just laughing because every single one of this pod pretty much smell exactly like how they're described which is pretty good i guess because you wouldn't want a gingerbread um um pod to smell like something completely different you know what i mean so the gingerbread has a cinnamon taste to it which i guess makes sense when you make gingerbread so the infinitely fruity one and it's done let's see what it smells like it wow god it definitely has the fruity smell to it. I'm just confirming whatever the, the <laughs> pretty much the capsule says, but that's really good. The fact that it's very true to the title and what with the name of the actual pot. So let's try the taste test. Yep, definitely taste the raspberry and that fruity taste there. I think, yeah, if you really like on the sweet side, this you can honestly take it alone. You don't really need sugar cream, uh, or, or milk with it. But yeah. Really, really good. Now, to finish off, the Double Espresso. Okay, so for the final one, the Double Espresso Infinite. 
yeah, pretty much smells like the fruity one. Let's see. I'm expecting it tastes really both. Yeah, it definitely has less of the fruity flavor. I don't know if it's because my taste buds have been altered because the amount of coffee I've been drinking, but um, yeah, definitely less fruity than the other one, and it has it's a bit more on the bitter side almost because of the espresso nature of it. But honestly, it's still really good. I think if you combine this with milk with the milk frother, you'd be golden. So if you found this video to be helpful, consider giving a thumbs up as it would really help me a lot. 